Hello, today we will cover two important distributions which are designed for low-end PCs. You can use them for any PC but they are specifically designed for low-end PCs. One of them is Lubuntu which comes from the Ubuntu family and the other one is Fedora Spin LXQT coming from Fedora. Both of them have different perspective of a lightweight solution and both have a, an understanding of how they can promote or market their product for Windows users or for any users or for minimalistic users. It depends how you, you see it yourself. So we will start first with the comparison and in the end we will see if which one you prefer and like. So let us start. Installation in Lubuntu is straightforward. We have the Calamaris installer. You just click next, American English, and you click next. You put the location. I have America, New York, no problem. You can change it next. And we have the keyboard English default. You can choose whichever you want. Also the, here you have, you can erase directly so that you can directly, if you have another system, you have to put it directly clean, swap or not, no swap, no problem. And you click next, you put your name, the username that you want to use Lubuntu and you put the password you click next you check here everything you press install and you install now it's very simple and very straightforward no need to do anything for Fedora we need the Anaconda installer to install so we have English English you can pick the language that you want you press continue and now you have three things you have to put to input the installation destination root and user creation installation destination you put the hard disk I choose this one you click it again to select it press done finish the other one root account you have to create a root account enable uh, you put a password let's say I put this password you since it is short password you have to press done done again two times user creation you create a user let's say I create a user called Fedora and password I create the password the password is too short you have to click done done again two times and then you begin with the installation so that's it for Fedora I am now here in Fedora LXQT I have covered Lubuntu in an earlier video I'll put a link in the description also below so that you can see it it has a extensive coverage of what entitles in Lubuntu so here first what we what we can see it's also it's an LXQT it is a light theme and we look first at the programs we have PC man FM QT file manager there is LX image internet we have Falcon instead of Firefox and we have transmission in the programming there is Enki sound and video we don't have VLC we don't have MPV we don't have anything here there is a terminal and the preferences that are available also in all LXQT and there is also the leave and the lock screen. So what is missing here in Fedora LXQT is Firefox. We are missing also Featherpad. We are missing VLC. We are missing HTOP also. And also of course we are missing LibreOffice. These are five or six programs that we are missing, heavy programs that are missing. And out of the box, Lubuntu has all of these out of the box. So that's an advantage for Lubuntu. The next thing that Lubuntu has and Fedora doesn't have is Discover, which is a software GUI which is available with Lubuntu, which helps in the installation and the update of the software. Unfortunately, Fedora doesn't have it. It only have the Dragora dialog which is the same as the Muan package manager that is also available in Lubuntu. So this one also is not present. Here it is not uh, a lot user friendly, but you can utilize it to install whatever you want if you don't want to use the terminal. But in many cases, we need to install things in the terminal, not like Lubuntu does. So here, for example, you can search for, we put here, for example, we search for Firefox. And we can 
get the 115 which is the latest one available that's how you install it you pick it you put apply and you can install it so let me let us install the programs so that we can have a better comparison between the two i right click open in terminal so the programs that i will install is firefox featherpad LibreOffice, vlc and htop but before we we install VLC, we need to install the RPM repository first. So first, what I will do, I, I will go to my to my website. I'll enter Falcon. This is Fedora Budgie. We can use the same uh, same thing that we did with Fedora Budgie. We can do it also. Here, the RPM Fusion, I copy it, I copy it, and I come here, and I paste it. This will allow me to install VLC in Fedora. So that's also an extra step that Fedora needs to do and Lubuntu doesn't have. It has VLC already installed okay so press yes now that it is installed we can install firefox featherpad LibreOffice, vlc and htop we'll install them and we will come back it has finished so what we need here is the following let me check something and i just want to say that all these programs with all the data that we have now we are using around 3.2 gigabytes so here what now we have we have the graphics the internet we have firefox the office we have all the office the sound we have vlc and we have the terminal and we have also htop which tell me we are at 509 megabytes 515 it should be around 440 the same as lubuntu but the amazing thing is that the size is 3.2 gigabyte so let us go over to lubuntu and check what what is the values there so we are here in lubuntu and let us check how much storage we have we have around 9.28 gigabyte of storage in lubuntu and of course the main thing here is the main thing of course is the snaps the usage of snaps which change all the equation in in these matters if you notice here in the user directory we have in the library we have snap d86.3 and also in the share directory there's nothing in the share directory we have in the snap directory we have 4.1 gigabytes in the var library we have 1.5 gigabyte in snapd so we have around 5.7 5.8 gigabytes just only for the snaps which is huge they rely on the snap but unfortunately snap takes a lot of storage so if you don't care for the storage no problem with lubuntu because it has all the options all the programs out of the box and it is also user friendly fedora there is extra steps you have to do the rpm fusion and to install vlc it takes a lot of time so that's it uh, guys tell me which one you like and why and we will be back in another video